Hello everyone, happy Friday. This is a pick a card reading for today, April 15th, Friday. You pick a card, it's your main energy, but I do pull all cards together. And if you're born April 15th, we'll do a reading for you next. All right, so the first card, number one, is a major arcana of the Hierophant. Major arcana trumps every card because, um, man, I can't talk today. They're important messages. So this should be an important day for you. Even if it doesn't feel like it, it, it is. The Hierophant is showing up here. There's a sense of trying to understand the meaning of life. Life is a mystery. Okay. So things happen in a mysterious way. What I want to say here is you need, there is for someone out there is a caution to slow down today. Okay. In whatever you're doing talking, eating, walking, um, something needs to be slowed down. You need to pay attention to your intuition and the warning signs. There's um, follow your gut feeling today. All right. Manifestation is high too. Some of you may be dealing with a female, maybe a fire sign energy. Not sure. Um, is coming into place. I'm picking up. It's important to be cautious slowing down today and patient okay card number three you have the six of cups be open to infinite possibilities if someone finds if you're by the ocean for some reason i'm picking up a starfish if you pick that up make a wish um, make a wish either way, but be open to all kinds of possibilities today is what I'm picking up. Some of you, um, someone may remind you of somebody is what I'm feeling too. Okay. This is a nice day to, I do feel that this is, um, flirtatious energy too with love. Okay. Anything is possible, past and present, is what I'm picking up here, okay? Card number three is the Six of Swords. The truth will set you free if you have something that you need to confess. If Or you may hear the truth and see the reality in a situation from someone else. All right, I do feel that energy. There's a Capricorn energy, too, I'm picking up. This is creating your own reality or seeing the reality in a situation. Decisions that need to be made, okay? And this can indicate also travel. Mostly, stay out of your head. Double sixes here is um, pretty much intuition, love, and luck. All right, so when we pull this all together, we have the Hierophant, which is an important card. Then we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Six of Swords. This is a day of creative solutions, okay? Um, some Strong-willed energy, too. Um, we're not so open. We're not so open. We'll open it with our emotions. We're not so much, we're kind of keeping things more in. And also we're holding a lot of energy that we need to release. Okay. We're indecisive. I do feel that there is some challenges ahead for some of us. This is internal challenges, could be some conflicts too, but there is some deception here. And sometimes this is um, just seeing things in, you know, in denial but there is some um, maybe realizing that we've been deceived in the past is what I'm feeling as well. Um, I do feel it is a time to heal, especially sadness from the past. For some of you, maybe officially splitting up or this could be even just let's say you're divorcing and this is just reminiscing and moving forward. It's a time to heal. I'm picking that up for someone out there. Uh, we'll get what we want. By procrastinating and heal, uh, procrastinating by not procrastinating and moving forward and, and and healing, some of our worries we had, all of that is we're leaving it behind here. This can be connected to someone that we do know, um, someone from maybe from the past, because this could be traveling to see someone too is very possible. 
Um, I'm picking up also a Leo energy. There can be a, an exciting get together. Uh, for some of you, this is plans for this, um, you know, for vacation or summer. And this is like someone maybe that you've been before. Okay. Maybe want to return to the same location. You know, there is that rebirth is happening. And this is a time for a new, your mind starts. It's a beginner's mind, new ways of thinking, new ways of feeling, new ways of healing and moving forward. Okay. All right, so that is the reading for today, um, Friday, Mar uh, March, April 15th. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Happy birthday if you're born today, April 15th. This is a quick and general reading. That's your solar year wish. This is your solar year uh, theme. You have the two of pentacles. Okay. This is an important year to balance yourself. It's like I pick up some of you are going to be struggling with leaving the past behind and trying to move forward. But yeah. for some of you, maybe dividing assets, dividing, um, there's a settlement. This could be a divorce coming up for some of you or a split up. So I do feel that. Now, there's an important message I'm picking up from someone out there. Be at home. Pay attention to the people that you do love. Because if you're not, if you're just working too much or you're not balancing home and play or something, there can be, um, you know, people being hurt or feeling neglected or this can lead to a separation. Um, I do feel here. Um, I don't know. I'm picking up a Taurus energy, a Cancer energy, a Aries energy you may be dealing with. Okay. This is a year where I feel that um, some of you may be moving. Settlements, um, change of direction with work and career, even residential moves. So you're going to really, uh, I really do feel that it is a year of taking a leap of faith. Some of you may start merging into entrepreneurial work. Um, okay. Breaking off, being more independent. Maybe you leave your home, uh, parents' home or something if you're younger. So I do feel that ener energy. But you really, really need to watch your words. Otherwise, that is going to be something um, that is not going to be forgotten for good or bad. So watch your words this year, too. I do feel that. Um, I do feel that wherever you invest your um, time or something in a sound investment, don't feel it's going to be wasted. It will come to fruition. Things take time. Follow your hunches. Follow your intuition. And you may even have a lot of night dreams. And follow them. Your intuition is important as well. You may be dealing with a lot of females uh, this year too. There is a lot of love around you. Um, there will be some kind of breakthrough or a sudden change. And that's going to kind of get you to be more conservative. And um, I want to say... Any money that you put on the side this year, will you will, um, it, it's a nice little savings nest that I see. So it's like putting away some percentage of your salary and putting it away. Um, certain things no longer apply in your life. You will be walking away from a lot. Um, make your dreams a reality. And be generous with your spirit. Courageous and generous. Very interesting. There is going to be things that um, can surprise you and be off balance. Delays definitely um, uh, may happen with um, things that you've been wanting, but they will be in your favor. Okay. Trust divine timing. Uh, for some of you, your mindset is different. You're more positive instead of pessimistic. Uh, things are going to fall into place and you will be trying to kind of um, juggle things and um, get things under control. There can't be a significant secret that comes out. Maybe you get some insider trader information or something like that because I see a good business deal coming through too. So that is the messages that came through there. Now your wish card is the Knight of Pentacles. Take a break. <laughs> it's slow. It's a slow moving. 
things will fall into place. It's one step at a time. Right now it's saying, see the bigger picture too. Be careful what you wish for. See the big picture, big picture, big picture in the head, okay? For some of you, that is um, also matters of the heart showing up too. So picking and choosing wisely is what I'm feeling. It's It will come to fruition slow and steady though. All right, the important numbers for your solar year. Six, three, two, eight, four, uh, 26, 16, 28, nine, and 68. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead of beyond everyone else. A wonderful Friday. And